Hi, this is Roy Mitchell, your child's physical science teacher, and this is your video syllabus for physical science. I really like physical science. It has some such cool stuff that we have in this class, and it takes kind of a, a deeper dive than the 8th grade did, and, and it's probably a more enjoyable dive than the 8th grade physical science. You really get to uh, touch base on some really cool stuff, and you can see behind me on what one studies in physical science that we'll be having everything from speed and acceleration to light and sound to heat transfer to the periodic table to even uh, behind my head here, uh, an atomic bomb and how E equals MC squared plays into that and radioactivity. It's just some really cool stuff, I think. Uh, I've been in the classroom, oh gosh, uh, I'm in my 28th year. I used to be at the county office uh, in charge of science there. So I'm in the classroom. I, I've, I've taught this many times and I, and I really like it. And I can kind of tell you a little bit about the class to uh, prepare you and your child for it. Uh, first of all, the grading weights are below. You can see 55% test projects. This is not just something for physical science. This is kind of the standard for most classes that your child will have here at Coosa High School. I do need to note amongst the 55%, 25%, and 20% about this final and EOC. The first semester has a final exam, the one that will be teacher made between myself and the other physical science teacher. And that will be 20% for the first semester. The second semester, there is the end of course test. That is the milestones test for this physical science class and that will be in early May. In high school these milestones test EOCs are in early May and that score that your child makes on that is 20 percent of the second semester. Uh, a little note below for honors students. Honors students are in my first and second period class that yes you do have more rigorous uh, depth in the class but you do get three points added and it's not three points that I add they are added by a computer at the end of the semester. And one note for those who are honors student, this is something that is a countywide policy is for honors students is that zeros are given for missed assignments and cannot be made up. And yeah, I guess I better I better uh, follow that since it's something that is kind of policy. I am very forgiving person, but yes, you do need to uh, do your assignments whenever it is time. Uh, this particular class has a little bit of math in it. Now behind me you can see a lot of links. I have put a link to this page on, uh, on the school website and I will put it in your students Google Classroom. These are videos and practice problems for some of the math concepts that are in physical science class. So if your child is having trouble with say conversions then they can go and look at this video and they can have some practice problems of it. If they're having trouble with significant figures kind of the same thing. So these are references that your child can dig into at any given point if they see they are having trouble. Kind of the point is I don't want the math to get in the way with the cool science stuff. So if your child is struggling with the math, believe me, we will practice and I have these resources available. So maybe they won't have to struggle through the math to get to the cool science stuff. Uh, I do need to tell you that much of your child's homework will be video homework. Now these are not Khan Academy lessons or something that another science teacher does. These are the actual lessons that I teach, uh, kind of the uh, lecture you might say that I put on YouTube. And your child for homework periodically will need to, they'll need to watch a video and complete the summary of that video. You see, I think that instead of spending the first part of class time with the instruction, that if students can watch it at home, then we can kind of start at a different area. And I can immediately see if your child is getting it or not getting it. And I think it allows us to do some more cool things in class. So be prepared. Probably sometime next week, the second week of school, your child will start getting some video homework. Uh, if your child needs to come to office hours, in other words, some... Uh, kind of individual work with me. Uh, I have office hours from 7.45 to 8.15. However, they are irregular office hours. Sometimes our department has meetings at this time, so your child will need to kind of touch base with me. Hey, tomorrow at 7.45, is that a good time? And if it is, I'll say, yeah, come on in at 7.45. Or if it isn't, I'll say no. And what about the next day? Uh, I do not give much extra credit 
In fact, in most cases, I do not give extra credit. I'm a, a believer that extra effort is required first. So if you are turning things in, if you are trying really hard, then that's where that, that any extra credit is a consideration. I don't want to uh, just dole that out if somebody hasn't done much effort on their end. I do have a Floyd BOE email. Uh, my email is rmitchell at floydboe.net. The school phone you can see below, but really the email is where you can get in touch with me the easiest. Um, this is my first year at Coosa High School. Coosa High School, however, I have been in the Coosa community for many years. I taught at the element, no, not the elementary school, but at the middle school for about 14 years, and I have two children that have recently graduated from Coosa High School. My son Zach, who graduated in 2019, and my son Alex, who graduated in 2015. So I really, I really do like Coosa, and I really like the kids here, and I hope your child really has a wonderful experience in physical science and learns a lot and uh, helps them grow uh, in their freshman year. I hope uh, I get to see you later on, and I look forward to hearing from you.